Get ready, because we're headed back to check in with the Furniture Guys Cabinet Project. Hey, I'm Ed Feldman. I'm Joe Galario. And we are the Furniture Guys. Remember in part one of our stripping and refinishing what the door. What did we do? I don't remember. We stripped the oh, door right. with denatured alcohol First and lacquer. First we stripped. Yes. The, okay. Secondly. We're going to sand. This is. We let it dry. A hundred grit sandpaper, which I've cut in half and I've got in thirds. Which is on the rough side, it's, but not as rough as no. 20 or 40. So the lower what the I'm number, do, the more abrasive the paper. I'm going to sand what we strip. Not a lot, just to get off any kind of residue. And also, you want to rough up the uh, wood a little bit. That gives it what's known as a tooth. And, so whatever you apply to it will have a little bit of an abrasive uh, texture to stick to. Not so smooth, so it slides right off. Now you got to sand it just a little bit like this, always going with the grain. Now, a lot of people might have problems with that. Here comes the, here comes the train again. <laughs> From Boot Hill. Train Midnight from, train. Then I'm going to put some tape right here. All I wanted to be was a pip. Just I didn't want to be Gladys. I wanted to be a pip. As I was saying, some people are afraid they're going to sand over into this because this grain is going this way, this grain is going that way. So in order to give yourself a little barrier, you just do this and try not to go over to where you shouldn't go. Yeah, so just take that off because I've done this a billion times. He's done times. this before. I know how exactly how to gauge it. So we're just going to go like this. This is not a hard sanding. This is a light sanding. And that's it. What that's are we going to put on it now? Well, I need the dust brush, which I have right here. I brought it over for us. See all that dust that's coming up? You did that so well. A little cloud getting into the camera. That now, you could wear a dust impossible mask. impossible to fix. You could wear a dust mask for this, uh, but we could put it for it. Mm. Anyway, now, the finish I'm going to use is shellac. This is shellac in here. There's about, I'd say, a shot glass full. And you do the spit coat using the denatured alcohol right here. Four to one? I'm going to go up. Yeah, probably make it. You always want to uh, dilute your shellac when you're doing a finish like this because it's about like that. you don't need it that thick and you want it to go on quickly and dry quickly as well. Now, shellac's a great finish for cabinetry, except for tops. Tops, you got to use poly or something else or a marine varnish. Because, or... again, since it's soluble in alcohol, you spill a strong mixed drink on a shellac finish, comes off. We're going to go in here and just... Brush this on fast. Shellac you have to work fast with because it is a, a solvent release finish, which means once the, uh, the, the uh, solvent evaporates, the alcohol, it, it leaves behind a film called your finish. So right. we remember, that. solid shellac flakes, which actually come out of the body of a bug. The Tacardia laca. Yes. Uh, dissolved in alcohol is what makes shellac. The alcohol. Uh, goes away in the air, it releases, that's why you smell it. Although it's not a dangerous fume, it's a lot like rubbing alcohol. Stay right here. I'll and be right back, I'm going to show you flake, something. Which is the hard stuff. Hurry up, Joe. We don't have too much Look, time. Because it's so, they're so beautiful. These are actually shellac flakes. Look. Look, little amber, gossamer thin flakes, which is a secretion of a bug. We're learning. It's like the zoo. It's like the zoo, so come back. We're going to sand this down, put a couple more, few more coats on it, and then we're going to do the magical wax and buff out. Thanks to everybody at Midday Maryland. And you can be with us, and I hope we gave you some nice tips. You want to find out any more about us? FurnitureGuys.tv is our website. You can see old no shows, new shows. Write us a letter. I'm Ed Feldman. I'm Joe Lario. Be nice to your friends. It's looking so good, you guys. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the finished product and check out the Furniture Guys at FurnitureGuys.tv for more. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.